Hi, I'm Dr. Fiona Caldwell and I'm a veterinarian at Idaho Veterinary Hospital and I'm answering questions from Pets Best Facebook page today. The first question comes from Barbara who says, I would like so much to have another golden retriever but we've lost two at an early age to cancer. Any opinion? Um, Barbara, I'm so sorry uh, for your loss. Golden retrievers can be really prone to cancer and I know they're really sweet pets so I can see the lure of wanting to get another one. Some options for you might be to try a golden retriever mix, so something that's mixed with that golden retriever so you still get that sweet disposition, but maybe some less of those um, potentially inherited cancers. Another option for you if you really want a purebred is to do some really good research on breeders. See if you can find a breeder who follows their line and um, can give you a guarantee that as that line ages, they have less cancers um, since they're such a hereditary component. The next question comes from Aiden who asks, what's the best food for your dog after pancreatitis? This is a great question. So pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas, which is an organ that secretes digestive enzymes into the stomach. It's actually a pretty common disease for dogs to get and it typically stems from eating something rich. Not always, but usually uh, the classic dog gets into the trash or uh, there's a barbecue and they're getting grizzle and steak and hot dogs and then the, they'll develop pancreatitis. Some dogs will um, have a chronic pancreatitis too where it kind of um, will intermittently come and go and these are the ones that really need to be closely regulated uh, in terms of their food. The current thought is the best food for dogs with chronic um, pancreatitis or have, that have had pancreatitis flare-ups is a low-fat food that's high in fiber. Probably a prescription diet would be most recommended, so you'd want to talk to your veterinarian about specific um, brands and diets that you could use. But uh, you could try a commercial low-fat diet, uh, high-fiber diet. Make sure no treats, no real bones, um, all the yummy things that dog likes, bacon and strips, that kind of thing, you're really going to want to stay off those because those, it's those rich treats that can really have them uh, give them a flare up. No people food either. Sometimes it's really hard to cut these things out, but it's going to be a lot healthier for your dog. Alternatives that you can use would be things like apple slices or carrots or ice cubes are the ultimate low calorie treat. Um, these types of things that uh, are low in fat and they're going to be a little bit safer for your dog.